This is the installation video for the 50F06843 White Rogers Universal Electronic Furnace Fan Timer from Emerson. Service of HVAC equipment should only be performed by a licensed and properly trained technician. Failing to follow all applicable HVAC standards of operation and maintenance, including applicable codes and manuals, can result in potential hazards including, but not limited to, electrocution and fire. The kit includes materials needed to replace fan timers used with non-integrated ignition modules and smart valve systems. The box includes adapter harnesses, installation accessories, a fan timer control board, installation instructions, and a troubleshooting label. First, ensure power and gas are disconnected prior to servicing the furnace. Remove the unit access panels. Check the part number on the existing control and verify it can be replaced with a 50F06843 using the cross-references on the side of the carton or the White Rogers mobile app. Take a picture of the existing control for reference before disconnecting wires. Remove the 115-volt line voltage and neutral wires. Next, remove the 115-volt transformer and neutral wires. Remove the inducer power and neutral wires. Remove the blower motor heat, cool, neutral, and park wires. Then disconnect the 6-pin connector from the J1 terminal. Remove the transformer 24-volt and common wires. Disconnect thermostat wiring. And finally, remove the board. Check the cross-reference, harness selection, and dip switch settings table in the instructions. For this model, no harness is required. Any changes to the default dip switch settings will be highlighted in blue. For this model, changing the cool-off delay is suggested. Refer to the table for proper setting instructions. SW2 switch 1 can be moved to the on position by pushing through the yellow plastic film to achieve a 60-second cool-off delay. The control may need to be mounted in different positions. The six-hole mounting design works for two or four screw configurations. The existing control was mounted horizontally. The new control will mount vertically with included screws. Be careful when drilling to ensure nothing gets damaged behind the sheet metal. Harness part numbers match the control model being replaced for easy identification. If replacing an ST9101 or an ST9141, a harness is required and detailed instructions are included for proper installation. A jumper harness is required on ST9160 systems. Failure to install will disable furnace operation and produce a solid amber LED coat. The jumper plugs into the control board six-pin connector plug. In this case, the part is not needed and can be discarded. Replace the thermostat wiring. Connect the transformer 24-volt power. Next, connect the six-pin to J1. For this application, no harness is required. Reconnect the 115-volt power supply. Connect the transformer 115-volt supply. Connect the inducer power and neutral wires. Connect the blower motor heat, cool, neutral, and park wires. Use the zip ties to secure any loose wiring. Install the troubleshooting label in a visible location. The system is now ready to be tested. Reconnect electric power and gas to the unit. To enter self-test mode, turn on power and ensure the door switch is engaged. Press the fault recall button twice within three seconds after powering the control. The control will enter self-test mode. If there are faults, the controlled LED will first flash in red the five last stored fault codes. Next, the LED will slowly flash between green, amber, and red while the control runs the inducer for seven seconds the heat for 10 seconds, then turns them both off and runs the cool for 10 seconds before going back to standby mode. When self-test mode is complete, the control will enter standby mode and display a green LED. To verify proper ignition, make a call for heat. The LED will flash two amber flashes. The tricolor LED conveys system status and fault codes. If any faults occur during the cycle, a flash code will indicate the fault. Refer to the troubleshooting label for diagnosis. The LED is displaying one red flash, so the troubleshooting label indicates the limit circuit is open. To prepare for operation, the fault codes can be erased by holding the fault code button for 5 to 10 seconds. Finalize any additional tests desired. 
Reinstall any panels that were removed. 50F06843 is available wherever White Rogers products are sold. Thanks for watching the White Rogers Universal Furnace Electronic Fan Timer video. For more information, go to emerson.com slash 50F06-843.